Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday, October 6, 2020, and I'm going to show you what product you can use to take advantage of higher interest rates. Hi, my name is Jeff Tomasulo. I'm the co-founder of TacticalIncome.com and CEO of Vespula Capital Management. If you like what you see on these videos, please subscribe to our channel. Now, let's get to my computer screens and let's get to work. All right, guys, let's get started. It is Tuesday, October 6th, about 6.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you can see on our tactical income trading platform right now, I have up the TLT right here. It's the iShares. It's an ETF that represents 20-year-plus uh, uh, Treasury, U.S. Treasury bond offerings. Um, and it's something that we use to when we trade futures on uh, the 30 year uh, and the 10 year. This is something that we like to uh, use as a um, substitute for trading futures. Um, and one of the things I want to po point out, and it's really important for you guys to understand this. And we talk about a lot of our process and understanding certain concepts. And one of the concepts of bonds when trading their products, especially the TLT, well, when yields right the interest rates um, go up the TLT goes down and when interest rates uh, go lower which we've seen over the over the past um, over the past bunch of years right we have interest rates at the lowest you could see the TLT has gone up uh, to a certain point um, you know over the last bunch of years but what I want to point out is that here's the pandemic right interest rates were all over the place went really really low then started to creep up and then got into their range. And what we're starting to see here is a little bit of a breakdown. Now, one of the things I want to cautious, uh, caution you about is I want, these. this is one of the markets that I feel is well, obviously most manipulated. And when I mean manipulated, I'm not meaning it in a really bad way. It's just that the Federal Reserve Bank of the United States of America has all these purchasing plans that definitely affect interest rates, right? They're trying to keep interest rates low. But as the markets change and as things start to change, interest rates are going to start to move in a certain direction. And one of the things we've, that we've been watching to see, and obviously we believe interest rates over the long, long haul will eventually uh, be higher. Um, and it's just uh, interesting for me to start to see this, con you know, this this range that we've been in, and we're starting to break down below that range and there are obviously some opportunities that could be had using options or different option strategies or obviously trading this uh, to the short side or you know if it finally breaks above these levels maybe to the upside um, you know uh, you know so it is just um, something I wanted to point out to you guys that I start to I'm starting to see a little bit of a breakdown which means uh, interest rates are starting to rise. So uh, not a bad opportunity to, and uh, not a bad way to start to look to see how much interest rates start to uh, start to creep up. Um, so something to keep your eye on. And, you know, there obviously will be some trades to happen in this area. Uh, you know, if we go out to the a little bit less of a chart, you can see it a little bit here. You know, it broke below the 160 level. Now it's starting to come down to its 200-day uh, moving average. Question is, does it hold and start to re go back into that pattern? So keep your eye on this. And we listen. We talk about this at on tactic at tactical income all the time. Uh, you know, we we put a trade on uh, a few weeks ago, uh, probably like probably 10 days ago, selling a uh, call spread. Um, you know, in this little up move here, because it started to look like right in here, we start to sell the, uh, a call spread. And it, actually, we were looking like we're going to be able to take some profits on this, hopefully soon. Um, the other thing I wanted to keep an eye on today, there was, there was news overnight, you know, that, uh, you know, the uh, NASDAQ was, uh, not that the NASDAQ, but some lawmaker in Washington was talking about breaking up the big uh, tech companies like Amazon, Apple, Google, I mean, very uh, small chatter. But what that does is also what I said to you guys yesterday on our YouTube video was the fact that there's, the market's going to be choppy. Market sold off a little bit, not big news on that. Uh, but one of the things that when you do look at these high flyers, one of the ones that I liked yesterday, there was some news, um, you know, 
in the tech sector and Adobe and a lot of these stocks are in the same type of pattern, right? Uh, Nvidia came out with some news, you know, on one of their uh, their chips. You can see how this looks a little different than the, the than the Adobe's, the Amazons. It's starting to creep up, um, and it's starting to obviously get back into a trend. Uh, the question is, can it hold that, especially with the market being as choppy as it has been, um, and the where the market is not really in a uh, upward trend or it is a little bit uh, we'll go back to the cues in a second but I think you know one of the things that you guys have to focus on is obviously recognizing the patterns and are we starting to trend higher and you know when I look at Nvidia I look at Adobe they all look this one looks obviously a little better if you're looking to trade to the upside um, Adobe is starting to obviously look very just kind of hanging in that pattern where it looks like it can go either way, and you look at Facebook, you know, same kind of look. Apple, uh, not not Apple, Amazon, same type of pattern. Where hey, it's starting to get to the top of the range, getting above its moving averages, and this is where options come in really handy, right? Because you can define your risk. You don't have to worry about big up moves or big down moves. You could put on different types of strategies to take advantage of the both ways. Right. And, and, and I think that is unique. And that's what we talk about a lot at tacticalincome.com, which, by the way, you can get access to all this, our trading platform. If you click on the, you know, that link below for forty nine dollars, you get a not, you know, you for 30 days, you get to try out all our services. And one of the services is obviously the platform uh, and trade alerts. And we'll get into that in a second. Um, the other thing, you know, so now that we talked about Amazon, uh, Adobe and NVIDIA, you know, um, the last thing I kind of want to talk about and bring in is that we talk about non-correlation all the time. And one of the things that is starting to look extremely interesting to me is um, uh, is grains, right, which is soybeans. One of the, And one of the things I want to point out, and I brought up a, a, a different charting platform because on tacticalincome.com, right, our tactical income trading platform, we don't have uh, futures yet. We should have them hopefully in the next month or so but when you look at soybeans here and i don't get scared every time i bring in non-correlate assets the reason why and please go watch our video that i i um posted on non-correlation and correlation on youtube because it's one of our key trading principles that we talk about all the time at tactical income and makes you a hell of a lot more consistent in making money but here's just a typical pattern where hey it had a breakout went really high you know, had a nice move. And then on this pullback, it's very interesting how you guys can learn from watching the pullbacks after a major up move. And here, it was a great opportunity um, to either sell put spreads and or get long uh, soybeans. And, uh, and it just gave you an opportunity to get back in. So when you feel like you've missed out, don't worry because there's always going to be some type of opportunity where you might be able to uh, to to be start a position, and it came down into this area where you know we would have thought it was having some support, and now you can see it had the up move, came back down, and did not retrace, did not go back and break the one. It showed some support here, and now looks like it's going to creep up and maybe break out to all time highs, or at least you know uh, really uh, you know it hasn't been up here in a really long time or set you know, um, new highs. And that would, what something we would love to see is to break above the 1050 area and keep going. Um, so don't be afraid to look at different asset classes. Don't be afraid to trade different ETFs. Remember the main thing is you want to have an edge. And, you know, we talk about having an edge all the time. We talk about, um, at, you know, tacticalincome.com about using probability and statistics to your advantage, looking for clues within the charts, looking for these patterns. And when you start to realize and see these patterns over and over and you start to use, you know, probability and statistics and volatility, and you put that all together, that's how you create the edge. And that's what a lot of people are missing out there of why they're not consistent enough. And this is something that we teach all the time and we talk about all the time at tacticalincome.com. So if you like what you see on these videos, please subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel, and also check us out at tacticalincome.com. We do have a subscription service. So if you click on 
the, that link below in the description. You have access for 30 days for $49 and you will see that you get trade alerts. Every time I place an options trade in our hedge fund, you get that sent directly to your uh, cell phone. We put a weekly watch list together. So every Sunday night you get access to that watch list and you see all the asset classes and stocks and that we are uh, looking at that we think might have the big move and where the money's being made. You also get access to our proprietary algorithm, which is called the Volmeter. That Volmeter helps you pinpoint the stocks and asset classes that give you the higher probability of profit and the higher probability of success when putting on options trades. And then lastly, which I think is invaluable, is you get access to myself and my partner, every Thursday in a coaching call where we go over the markets, we go over our process, we go over all our trades, and we help try to teach you and show you how to put all those things together to create the edge that you need to be consistent in making money in the markets and whether that market goes up, down, or sideways. So there you have it, folks. Check us out and remember when trading, trade with an edge, and we will talk to you guys soon.